How's it going guys? This is Top Shelf Liking from Top Shelf LLC Crew coming to you with the Dark Brotherhood uh, Quest 1 ESO Let's Play. Alright, so I just killed that guy. I'm using my level 14 Night Blade just to show you guys that you could do it at any level. Um, some of them might be uh, prone to be a little bit difficult in some areas, but uh, as long as you get your tactics and your skills down, you should be able to tank through them pretty easily. Especially with the uh, Dark Brotherhood update, the Blade of Woe. We're going to see some badass executions, guys. From what I've seen, at least. Let's see how cool they really are. Nah, assassinate this nigga. Let's see here. Yeah, boy. Come on. Take the bait. Alright, here she fucking comes. She's about to take the D. Alright, here we go, guys. Alright, bitch nigga, you're done. Boom. Oh, through the knife at her, through the blade. Whoa, guys, that was badass. Right into the back of her fucking temple. Let's go. Alright, guys, and uh, my character is a Nightblade. Um, I figured Nightblade would be the best uh, class to use for this DLC because it just fits the assassin. But you could really use any class you wanted, there's no restrictions. You see, you can turn invisible as a night blade, and you have a lot of damage coming out of sneak mode. Think that, think of that, keep that in mind. Let's see if we can't creep up on this nigga. You're done. Ooh, oh shit, that was dope. Skyrim, they brought the Skyrim uh, throat slitting. Let's go. So, yeah, this uh, mission takes a while because, in order to use the blade of woe, you have to be in sneak mode. But um, with the night blade again, sneaking is a lot easier. And with Kaji or uh, Argonian or something that really has a lot of stamina, Red Guard's really good for night blade as well. You can really sneak a lot easier in this game with these guys. So we're coming upon the main hall. And I don't know if that's a fucking health bar or what. So Show let's see. Assassin, or are you another one of those brotherhood cowards who prefers to strike from the shadows? Fuck you, nigga. Dark Brotherhood ain't cowards. You just don't, uh, don't think you can win in this fight. Blade and Shadow. So I think that both the enemies are coming up here. I'm gonna stay hidden and wait for one of them to leave. It's cool, because with the Dark Brotherhood DLC... Um, they did a bunch of champion point stuff. A lot of people didn't like it at first, but uh, like if you look on their names right next to their names, it says their rank. So champion 160. Like I said, my level 14 character, he's got champion points as well. Once you hit level 50, you start getting champion points. And uh, since I've already hit that with one of my characters, I can easily do this. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy and see what we can do with it. Oh, that is dope. Holy shit. Stabbed him three times. Tapped him on the shoulder. Hey, buddy, how's it going? And then boom, boom, boom. Done. Clap, cheat. Hell yeah, guys. Alright, look at this fucking fire mage. The one thing I hate in this game is the fucking mages, dude. They're so annoying. Ooh, threw that in the back of your heart, too. Fuck you. Shit on these fools. Alright, let's kill this guy next. And the cool thing with this DLC is it shows the Black Hand logo. I don't know if you've ever seen it in Oblivion. It was uh, mainly a part of that. And then came out more in Skyrim. You see the red hand on the door, on your armor, shit like that. Black Hand, tomato, tomato. But you see how it hovers above the character's actual uh name like above his actual uh presence all right let's see if he can turn his back so i can kill this guy give you guys a good show hopefully this blade of woe will be another execution you guys haven't seen yet there is one where you stab him in the eye i think and i'm hoping i can hit him with one of those Ooh, that's dope hell yeah thanks for watching guys <laughs>